and learners. I am teacher Nerisa V. Menchas of Binigno V. Aldana National High School. I am here to help you enhance your logical thinking and problem-solving skills. Kindly prepare your module in Mathematics Quarter 3, Module 1, as well as your pen and paper. So, are you ready? Great! Let us begin another fun and enjoyable learning adventure. For this lesson, you are expected to define a permutation and illustrate the permutation of objects. So, are you excited to know what this permutation is all about? Look at the picture shown. Have you wondered why some locks have codes in them? Do you know why a shorter code is weak? Why a longer code is a strong personal password in your Facebook account or Gmail account? Let us find out the answers to these questions and discover the wide application of permutation. So what is permutation? A permutation is an arrangement of all or part of a set of objects in a definite order. Take note, the order is important. For example, if you want to withdraw your money from the ATM but enter the wrong pin, can you withdraw your money? Of course not! So you have to enter your PIN in order. What are the examples of permutation in real life? Lock with a definite sequence. Specific order in seats. And ranking people. How to find the permutation of objects? The permutation of n objects taken R at the time is given by the permutation of n taken R equals n factorial divided by the quantity n minus R factorial. Note that n here must be greater than or equal to R. So n here is the total number of objects and R is the number of objects selected. And the permutation of n objects taken all at a time is given by permutation of n taken n equals n factorial. For the following sections on counting, we need a simple way of writing the product of all the positive whole numbers up to a given number. We use factorial notation for this. Factorial is symbolized by an exclamation point. A factorial is a mathematical operation in which we multiply the given number by all of the positive whole numbers less than it. In symbol, we have n factorial equals n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2 and so on and so forth. For example, 3 factorial. We have 3 times 2 times 1. Another, 7 factorial. So that is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And as a special case, we define 0 factorial equals 1. Now, let us have illustrative examples. Number 1. Find the number of permutations of the letters A, B, and C. So by listing the possible arrangement are ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, it could also be CAB, and CBA. So there are six possible arrangements. Now, listing can be very time consuming. So aside from listing, the other way to find the number of permutation is by using the formula permutation of n taken n. So that's equal to permutation of 3 taken 3 which is equal to 3 factorial that is equal to 6. So there are 6 possible arrangements or the number of permutations of the letters A, B, N, C. Example number 2. Given the four-letter word love, in how many ways can we arrange its letters three at a time? 
So there are three positions to be filled. We write the horizontal marks. On each horizontal mark, we write the number of choices we have in filling up the said position. There are four choices for the first position. After the first position is filled, there are three choices left for the second position, and there are two choices left for the third position. So the three entries on the horizontal marks would be 4, 3, and 2. We apply the fundamental counting principle and multiply 4 times 3 times 2, which is equal to 24. Thus, there are 24 possible ways of arranging the four letters of love, taking three of them at a time. Example number 3. In a school club, there are five possible choices for the president, a secretary, and a treasurer. Assuming that each of them is qualified for any of these positions, in how many ways can the three officers be elected? So we will apply the formula permutation of n taken r, which is equal to n factorial divided by the quantity n minus r factorial. So here, the value of n is 5, and the value of r is so we will be solving for the permutation of 5 taken 3, which is equal to 5 factorial divided by the quantity 5 minus 3 factorial. So that's equal to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial, which is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 2 times 1. Now we can cancel the common factor in the numerator and in the denominator. So the answer would be 6 ways. This time, we're going to discuss distinguishable permutation. Distinguishable permutation is a permutation where some objects or elements are alike. The formula for distinguishable permutation is a factorial divided by the product of a factorial times b factorial times c factorial and so on and so forth. So a objects are alike. B objects are alike, C objects are alike, and so on. For example, find the number of distinguishable permutations of the letters of the word statistics. The word statistics has 10 letters. The value of N equals 10. Now we have to take into consideration that the three S's are alike, the three T's are alike, and the two I's are also alike. So we must divide 10 factorial by the product of 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial in order to eliminate the duplicates. Now, solving for the permutation, we have 10 factorial divided by the quantity 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So kindly solve this and verify if you will also obtain 50,400 permutations. Now, let us consider arrangement of objects in a circle which we call circular permutation. Circular permutation is a special case of permutation where the arrangement of things is in a circular pattern. The permutation of n objects arranged in a circle is given by p equals the quantity n minus 1 factorial. For example, in how many ways can three people be seated around a circular table? So apply the formula P equals the quantity N minus 1 factorial, we have the quantity P minus 1 factorial. That is equal to 2 factorial, which is equal to 2 times 1, and the answer is 2. To further understand the lesson, let us have practice exercises. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. In how many ways can 6 different books be arranged on a shelf? Is it A. 620 B. 720 C. 760 or D. 860 The correct answer is D. 720 Did you get the correct answer? Good job! Number 2. The dance competition with seven teams, how many ways can they finish in the position champion, first runner-up, and second runner-up? Is it A210, B220, B230, or D240? The correct answer is 240. Number 3. 
8, 210. Number 3. How many distinguishable permutations are possible with the letters of the word Google? Is it A, 150? C, 160? C, 170? Or D, 180? The answer is D, 180. Number 4. In a singing competition with 12 contestants, in how many ways can the organizer arrange the first three singers? Is it A, 550, B, 920, C, 1,320, or D, 1,550? The answer is C, 1,320. Did you get all the correct answers? Great job! So again, what is permutation? And how to find the permutation of objects? I believe you are now ready to answer the following. So for letter A, kindly study the tasks or activities below. Put a check mark on the space provided if the task or activity involves permutation and put an X mark if the task or activity does not involve permutation. And for letter B, kindly solve each of the following problems completely. So you have to show your solution. Good luck! For your assignment, kindly accomplish this activity. So you are going to solve each of the following problems completely. Kindly write your answer on a one whole sheet of paper. And that concludes our lesson for today. I hope you have learned something today. Thank you for joining me in this episode. And before this video lesson ends, may I share to you this quotation. Mathematics gives us hope that every problem has a solution.